In the Arabic language, hijab means a barrier. A barrier between two things is known as a hijab or a hajiz, you know, something that is a barrier between two things. So that is called a hijab. And the idea here is to create a barrier. When a person when a person wears clothing, the clothing needs to be such that it covers you. I mean, what's the whole idea of wearing clothing when you are not covered? I mean, what's the point? So in Islam, we believe that Allah Almighty has given us a certain type of modest beautification through clothing. And yes, uh, to cover your private parts, to cover yourself in a nice way, to look presentable. All of this is actually part and parcel of the gift of Allah Almighty upon us. So when we say hijab, many people think it's just a piece of cloth on the heads of women covering their hair, not realizing it's an entire lifestyle. That's what it is. It's it's a whole system through, you know, that we tread upon and live by uh, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So men, for example, also have to observe a certain level of hijab. They have to have a certain conduct. The morality needs to be on a very high level. It's very important because the difficulty we face, people look at women and say, where's your hijab? You know, and I say, well, my brother, yes. Uh, what about your eyes? Uh, should you not be also practicing or fulfilling a certain aspect of hijab, which is to lower your gaze? Uh, so at times the problem is twofold or, or more. And you cannot just blame someone and say, you know what? Where is your hijab? You know, hijab. Here is a hijab and you throw a piece of cloth. That's only one small aspect of it. But to dress in loose clothing is also part of the hijab for both men and women. So if there is a man wearing tight jeans, he is not fulfilling the, the, the rules and regulations of clothing in Islam, even though he might claim that my private parts are covered. But in actual fact, you've got to wear something slightly loose. It's in the hadith of the Prophet wasallam not to wear something that reveals uh, you know, the shape of your body parts. Unless, obviously, if the wind is blowing, you're excused. Uh, or if you're walking and something happens to, you know, sometimes it shows a little bit here and there. Uh, that you're excused for. But when you are wearing your clothing and you put on something that is very tight, uh, men and women, I'm talking of men and women, and I've singled out men here because I know that a lot of people uh, say, well, men are excused from this. That's not true. You have to make sure that you've done the right thing. You have to make sure that your clothing is slightly loose. And at the same time, it's not see through <clears throat> and it's not very thin. So it's, it's a reasonable material. It's nice. It's comfortable. It covers you and it's loose. So it doesn't show your organs or body parts. That is part of hijab. So hijab means to dress modestly in a way that pleases the Almighty for both men and women and to carry yourself in a way that would not make the opposite gender uncomfortable and would not be displeasing to the Almighty regarding the way you have carried yourself. So if you see something, uh, you know, you're supposed to lower your gaze. Lowering gazes for both male and female is part of the general rule of hijab where we're so dissatisfied with our looks and so on that we just don't want to uh, admit that I don't love myself the way Allah's made me. Part of hijab is to love yourself the way Allah has made you, to appreciate it, to thank Allah for it. And guess what? To dress in a beautiful, modest way whereby your body parts are not being revealed. Now, I address the men. Many men think that, well, it's OK, you know, I can wear these skinny jeans and I can have these tight, you know, tight shorts. And so, you no, no, no. Part of hijab is that you do not do that. The rule applies to men as well, where you're supposed to wear something that's not tight fitting. You're supposed to wear something that's not very thin. It's not supposed to be revealing of your organs and your body parts, especially from the navel to the knee. And subhanAllah, you should make sure that you adopt that. So many times 
people pick on the women and say, oh, you know, these women are not in hijab. But my brother, you're worse sometimes. And yes, I do know a lot of effort is required and a lot of work is required by all of us when it comes to improving the way we manage the hijab lifestyle, like lowering your gaze. Similarly, part of hijab is the way you speak. The Prophet, peace be upon him, was instructed by Allah and his wives were instructed by Allah Almighty. And when you speak to people, speak in a certain way, you know, uh, with a certain barrier and so on. So the reality is the way you speak also depicts whether or not you live a lifestyle of hijab, both men and women. If you're going to flirt, if you're going to, for example, uh, try and uh, attract the opposite sex with your words or your voice and if you and so on, you're not observing the hijab correctly. Hijab should be such that you are respectfully speaking to the opposite gender when needed and you may uh, uh, inquire about them or their health and so on or what may be what they may need it's, but hijab requires you to speak very respectfully to the opposite gender with utmost respect they should see the character in you of modesty honesty uh, goodness and so on so that is really amazing i think all of us need to do better including myself when it comes to the way we lead this lifestyle of hijab by the will of Allah. So I need to be more conscious of the way I speak to the opposite gender. I need to be more conscious as a male uh, about how I lower my gaze and how much pleasure I get by lowering the gaze for the sake of Allah. I'm pleased because I've pleased Allah. And you will find that element of respect will be so amazing. And then when it comes to uh, my dress code, I need to make sure that I don't wear tight clothing, that which is revealing, that which is very thin, that which, you know, for me as a man. And subhanAllah, people say, well, I'm wearing jeans, it's quite thick. But my brother, these are skinny jeans. Do you know, it's not necessarily, it's, it is actually not on the ideal teachings of you. For you as a Muslim, you're supposed to be wearing something not as tight fitting, but who's there to tell you? No one. Because why? You're a man and you think, well, hijab is for a woman. There goes. This is where we've gone wrong. So my brothers, my sisters, I've spoken about what I should be doing and let me say the sisters too, inshallah, by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we can do better when it comes to the rest of our clothing after the scarf on the head. Inshallah, we can make sure that it's slightly looser. We can make sure the material is a beautiful material that's not revealing and not so tight fitting and so on. And we will earn the pleasure and mercy of Allah.